So, Payday 2 on the Switch. It's a first person crime game. It was originally re released 2013, so pretty far behind the times on the Switch, but we got it at least. Um, it's heavily tailored for online co op play. I mean, that's like the default when you go into the menus. On the surface of it, it's good. You know, I, I can't fault it. Shoot stuff, you got missions, you go. Um, it's very customizable. You can customize your player, your mask, your weapons, you know, your crew, the whole lot. And the missions are nice and varied. You know, you go from a Siberian raid on a compound. You know, what kind of local gang doesn't raid a Siberian compound at some point in their life? Um, to a giant meth lab, to a um, just attacking armored trucks and robbing places. So very varied in what, what you do for missions. The gameplay is pretty standard, um, you know, nothing revolutionary for this type of game. You can choose the missions in any order, it's like these contracts come up on your map, you just pick which one you want to do at which particular time. Uh, you've got stealth missions, it's got assault missions, um, so it's something there for everyone. Needless to say, I'm not good at the stealth missions, I just didn't complete some of those. As I say, there was this less level with a giant meth lab. I just want to go back to it because I want to get across how giant this meth lab was. Um, it was huge. There were test tubes that were like 20, 30 signs the size of your character. And it was kind of weird. And then it got weirder when a giant spider ate me at one point. Um, there's stealth levels, as I say, as well. I wasn't great at those. Um, you can hide bodies, which is good. Kill them quietly, hide the body. You can only do it four times. Not because you can't hide any more bodies, but because you can't answer their pager. Yes, I said pager. I'm sure in 2013 we still had, didn't use pagers. We were on mobile phones by then. But, you know, I'm old. My memory's going. Who knows? So before each level, you pick your loadout of weapons. Uh, you pick a main weapon. You get crossbows as well. That's pretty cool. A uh, sidearm. A beating weapon, like a chain or a shovel or whatever you want to use for that. Um, and then a throw weapon like your grenades or your molotov cocktails and a bit of kit which can be some extra body bags or some health bags or um, you know hacking tools things like that it's a good variety of weapons um, and the proceeds of your crime can be used to buy more and upgrade them which is always fun so as I mentioned I'm not very good at stealth so I just couldn't do some of the levels some of the levels were literally just do it stealthily or you fail so I failed um, others just meant that when you failed the stealthy bit the police assaulted you, uh, which wasn't really an issue. The police are not a deterrent in this game. Uh, the reason is that they're really easy to kill and they're pretty poor. I mean, in one level, my stats at the end told me I killed 150 police officers. At what point do they send in the army? Um, I started enthusiastic on this game and I, I planned to buy it, you know, at the end of my rental agreement. But three weeks in, it just got a bit samey. You know, teammates are telling you exactly how to do missions. Police assaults aren't really a deterrent, and I can't do stealth. So it just got a bit samey, and there's this really annoying thing where you try and drill through a safe, and then you have to keep going back and turning the drill back on because it keeps shorting out. You think, can't I just buy a better drill? No, you can't. Um, I would get it if it was cheaper. If I could pick this up for like 15, 20 quid, I would get it. But for 30 pounds, ah, nah, too rich for my blood. 